Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Civilization. What this video is going to be about is all the troops from all the civilizations that are at the moment into, at the, moment into the game, the stats. So that is exactly, so I've put the picture on all the civilization. Now I'm gonna start the slideshow because the first 16 pictures is gonna be the civilization, so it's gonna be British tier 4 and 5 and so on i started with british so i'm just gonna make myself a little bit smaller i had this request people are keep keep asking me what is the difference between this and that what is the difference between that and this how is that how is this when i'm gonna get done with these 16 pictures i'm gonna put pictures that are only the special units and then i'm gonna talk a little bit and try to explain you a couple of things so let me lock myself down here and let me start the image uh, slideshow. All right, so I started it. So basically just press pause on the troop that you're interested in or on the troop that you actually want to find out something about it. So obviously this is the tier five of, uh, of the British. <clears throat> I put a, I think it's like 10, 15 seconds that it usually like or 16 seconds i think that it stays on every image this is china uh, elite chukonu is gonna come up next there you go royal guard so you're noticing that most of the troops they are pretty similar to every civilization it's just the special one so this is france which they have the throwing axeman Oh, the stats, you probably noticing that I did cover some of the stats. This is the base stats. This is the base stats from every civilization. Alright, so this is what you need to know. The other stats that you see them on the green, so I can explain that as well. Those are the bonuses from your research or from your civilization, from uh, temples, shrines, alliance research and all that. So the ones that you see in the green. The ones in the green are not the bonuses from your commander because the game cannot know which commander you're going to use into the battle. So those are the bonuses in the green when you see them on the right. Uh, they are the ones from the research, from the research, from the alliance or from the relics. King buffs. Alright, so this is Horang. I think this is Korea. Wow, they gone so fast. Korea is the last one, isn't it? This is gonna be a short video and I worked so freaking much on it. No, we have Rome. Look at that legionnaire guy. I mean, I'm behind, but you know, he that guy has such a sad face. Elite legionnaire. 221 attack, 222 defense, 216 health. So once the slideshow is gonna be over, I'm just gonna... Uh, pop up real quick the pictures this is conquistadores let me let me get the pictures ready <sighs> all troops starts all tier 4 and 5 all right so we are back on i'm gonna start with the archers all right go away slideshow all right so now this so these are all the tier 4 and tier 5 troops so you have the archers from all the three nations british china and korea one thing that you have to notice is that the british archers have the highest attack so the elite ones they have the 232 attacks which is the highest the next one is the chukonu which they have 227 i'm talking about tier 5 and i'm just gonna pop up the other ones i'm just gonna put the infantry now so this is the infantry samurai throwing axeman and legionnaire 
So what we can notice from this is that the Legionnaire, they have the highest defense. They have 202 defense. The Throwing Axemen, they have the highest health. And the Samurai, they have the highest attack. Now I'm gonna pop up the cavalry and there is where I'm gonna stop a little bit and I'm gonna talk about it. I've done this so you guys can see the difference between the troops attack and defense and health. Now I'm gonna explain it to you how is this actually beneficial. Because you, you see for example Teutonic Knight they have 187 attack. Conquistador they have 197 attack. Well, in order to explain it to you the best, I'm just going to use examples. So I'm going to use a roughly number of 200. So Teutonic Knight, they have 200 attack. Conquistador, they have 10 more than Teutonic Knight, so that's 210. So this is just fictional. I'm just trying to explain you a, a basic. Could have do a picture, but I already done enough pictures. We can take roughly a number a hundred percent so let's say at max research or max technology you have a hundred percent bonus attack now if you have a hundred percent bonus Teutonic Knights because they are Germany they have a hundred and five from this civilization specification so that would be a hundred and five two hundred attack plus a hundred and five out of that which is two hundred and ten equals to four hundred and ten attack so the Teutonic Knight with 100% research and the civilizations uh, special, they have 410 attack. This is, as I said, this is just fictional numbers. Conquistador, they have 210 attack because they usually have 10 over the Teutonic Knights. Plus 100%, they don't have the 5%. So 210 plus 100% out of that, which is another 210, it equals to 420 attack which is again only 10 over the Teutonic Knight so basically it negates the 5% from the Teutonic Knight but then Conquistador they have defense Teutonic Knight they have slightly more defense so what is this gonna be helpful when is this gonna be helpful this is gonna be helpful in the end game very very late into the game more things they will be introducing to the game uh, maybe equipment to the commanders, maybe temple, uh, maybe runes. So the percentage to the troops is going to keep going higher and higher and higher. It's probably going to be 300, 400, 500 percent. Who knows how far it's going to go. This is where these small numbers that you can see over here will make a difference. So Conquistador, aka Spain they will have the highest attack on their cavalry in the end game right now as the game it is right now teutonic knights aka germany they have the highest attack they gain a lot more from that five percent because no one has that high amount of research so this is the only this is the only difference that matters right now so the difference is very small that's why in all my videos i'm focusing and I'm trying to explain so much about commanders because you actually benefit a lot more from the talents and from the commanders themselves and I think I can put myself back in yeah it felt a little bit odd me not being in there but anyway so this is why in all my videos I'm focusing so much about commanders so much about about talents and because uh, the research is for the end game that's for the very long run or the small percentages because you keep asking me why are you not switching to Rome you gain more defense to your infantry yes I do but the difference is more right now you understand so when you look to a civilization or when you look to bonuses those are pretty small right now they're gonna make a difference later on into the game very late into the game when they're gonna introduce more futures because obviously when they thought about the game itself they taught in the long run yeah. so they don't have to keep modify stuff every now and then like the, apparently they keep doing it anyway so that is enough talking i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about so anyway you have all the pictures i don't know 
it took me a while to do them anyway. So you have them here. All the troops or the stats of the troops. Is that uh, what you're interested in? I have them here. Until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing out. And tomorrow I have another one <laughs> with pictures. <laughs> and my camera is out of focus. I have another one tomorrow with pictures and all that. I don't know why I said tomorrow someone is gonna watch this video two months from now and gonna say oh tomorrow is gonna be a new video <laughs> all right peace out yo